It's your returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka Trap Brookai Sensei. And all of this is Chloe. The last fat acceptance dipshit I roasted complained about the doctor telling her to lose weight. Let's see what Chloe is so hangry about. Let's have a chat about fat tax fashion. If you have no idea what that is, it's when retailers decide to charge more money for plus sizes than they do the standard range. That's because one, clothing companies sell fewer plus size items overall, and two, it takes more fabric to produce that circus tent with sleeves you call a blouse. I said more or less the same thing in an Instagram post, but BBC Scotland filed a copyright claim after saying share at the end of the video. How is that fair? I was thinking the same fucking thing. I must have gotten truth text. And personally, I don't think that's fair. For example, say I'm buying a dress. Up to a size 16, it's 20 pounds. But when you go to a size 18, they add on another fiver. Extra pounds for your extra pounds. It's pretty easy to comprehend. Then again, so is caloric restriction, but you can't grasp that either. How is that fair? You don't see retailers charging more for their tall collections or less for their petite collections, so why are they picking on plus size women? Sometimes the argument is that it's more fabric. Again, why aren't they charging more in that case for their tall collections? Fake news, they do charge more for tall collections. Petite clothes cost the same as regular clothes because for any given length of fabric, you can cut out the same number of petite garments as regular size ones. You need more fabric to cut out the same number of plus size garments, which again costs more money. It's no surprise you feel the pain of sticker shock at the department store when your go-to method of covering up is rolling around in the mud. We all deserve access to nice, affordable clothing, but retailers are making it so difficult for plus size women like myself to find these things. It shouldn't be this difficult. No, clothing companies shouldn't have to lose money on plus-size clothes just because you refuse to lose weight so you fit into cheaper, regular-size clothes. If you don't care about your body, then why the fuck should they? I want to buy the same product as you for the same price, no matter what my size. And that stands for anyone, whether you're size 6 or 32, you should be paying the same price for the same garment. Except it's not the same garment. Plus-size clothes are often made with stronger materials. If your pants need a vibranium zipper because any other kind will burst under the pressure of your gunt, then you'll have to cover that cost. Also, clothing companies have to design plus-size items differently to downplay your turkey arms and muffin top. Regular clothes look like crap when you're built like a trash bag full of mashed potatoes. And in a way, I think it's just another way for retailers to make more money out of us. Your local fast food place charges you less for the standard combo than it does for the trough of slop you normally order. But I don't see you complaining about that. I think in general, plus size clothing is more expensive anyway. I'm more than happy to call out a brand if I see them charging plus size women like me more for what appears to be the exact same garment. It's not fair and I'm not standing for it. That poor chair. The fat tax really frustrates me. What do you think about it? I think the real fat tax is on the healthy people who have to cover the high medical expenses of the planet sized fucktards in their insurance pools. You're just mad because you can't burden anyone with your high clothing expenses. Nor should you be able to, because it's your fucking fault you have them. Maybe this will finally sink in when you're putting on a plus-size hospital gown for your gastric bypass surgery. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now.